Hey Scorpio. So we're doing May's generals. Yes, I am late. Your full moon. I blame you. No, I'm not. Uh, I absolutely loved it actually. We had that lunar eclipse. We had your full moon energy. <coughs> Whilst in Mercury retrograde, sorry. <coughs> Some of your throat chakras are shut. Um so yeah, my biggest relief was I realised. I was actually working too much. I was doing too many readings. I do, you know, so I actually had for the first time in I can't even remember a full weekend from Friday tea time to Monday morning. I had off first time ever, um, not doing readings. So I am not working weekends anymore. That's my time. Um, so yeah, big epiphany moment for me. So and it was your full moon. So I'm guessing. There was a lot of epiphany moments going around. It was a very, a very special energy. I'm sure you all felt it, especially with it being in your sign. Very, very special energy. So these will be extended. You can get the extended on the Patreon link, which is in the description box below. If you're watching me on YouTube, if you're watching me on TikTok, I'll be writing the link in so that you can just put it into your uh, internet search bar and find me that way to get you extended. So these general are back for the new moon, then love as usual. So let's jump straight in for my Scorpios. What energy have we got around me? The King of Wands. So the King of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You may have that in your chart. If you do have fire in your chart, always check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus. Go and watch them because there will be a message in those readings for you. The King of Wands comes about with an energy of motivation and ambitiousness and going and chasing his dreams, you know, that type of energy. Um, and I feel like that's what it is. Maybe you've released yourself from something, you're getting more motivated about something or there's, the, there's a need to get more motivated about something. So the main energy is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, the Nightmare card, the overthinking, the battle going on in the mind. We are all still in that post-retrograde shadow with Mercury retrograde. We have just had your uh, full moon with the lunar eclipse. So you could be releasing a hell of a lot. So if it does feel like old things are triggering you and things are coming up, see it as it's happening for a reason because when we dilute old things or we push things down we don't sort them out they have to come up to the surface to be released and i feel that that is what is going on with you and maybe it's about being motivated in your healing you know you, there may be like sleep patterns um uh, problems with your sleep patterns at the moment you know stuff like that again we're in your energy we've got that scorpio full moon energy it's a major release whether it be Vases, old addictions, uh, old traumas and wounds that we've held down. You're going through a massive release, Scorpio. Don't be hard on yourself. What's crossing that energy? Your challenge is to start getting excited in life again. It's to do something that's going to excite you. Again, you've got a lot of fire energy. Fire is action. And again, it's like that fire in your belly to do something. So there's been a lot of work going on around here, around the crown chakra, the third eye, you know, a lot in the mind, the brain. I don't like saying that word because, you know, it's like a motherboard. But it's like that fire in your belly. That's the challenge is to get to that again. Why is it coming around now? Because you've got the four of wands, 11, 11. You're manifesting and it's wishes coming true. It's, it's completions of projects. You are your own project at the moment, Scorpio. So I like that. There could be worries about that. Um, jobs, finances, that type of thing, uh, money, that type of thing. There's something playing on your mind. And again, with it, with the King of Wands being there, it's that fiery energy. It's about, do I take this action or do I not? In the recent past, we have got the Ten of Cups in reverse. So emotionally, like not feeling on top of um, emotionally, maybe like I was, you know, not spending enough time with children or with family, you know, that type of thing. There could have even been like a big bust up, a divorce, um, a split. And so that could be why you're all in your head now. At present, yeah, see, it's like you're scared of taking a step forward in some way. There's something that is like niggling at your mind. There's an anxious energy. There's definitely an anxious energy. You're kind of dealing with things that I do feel like you're dealing with things that you've been holding in your subconscious and they've come to the forefront in order for you to deal with them and then 
let go uh, you know won't it's, it can release and surrender you know i feel like i kind of do want to say like the next eight days will be really significant to you um and i don't know why i want to say the next eight days because i'm trying to think what we're on now 16 17 18 19 20 21st 22nd 23rd 24th of May, so we could be going to the 24th of May, something could sit, or between now and then, um, as we move into Gemini season, but I feel like you're going to realise, like, once you rip that, it's like ripping a bandage off, you, once you've done it, it's done, because you're taking control back, you've got a lot of air energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, you may be dealing with an air sign, but I feel like you're taking control back, like you're disarming whatever has had some kind of control over yourself. So you're disarming them or you're disarming that situation. Um, you could be disarming your own ego. If your ego is attacking, you know, there could be a war going on at the minute between spirit and ego going on. And there's that lack of fear of moving forward and, you know, kind of standing in your power. But you're manifesting that energy. You're manifesting, you're freeing yourself. So... In order to be, be completely free and release, you've got to let that energy come to the surface and release it. Your power in this situation is let go of it. The Four of Pentacles is holding on so tightly to that one pentacle. If you just let go of that one pentacle, it's got four. So whatever it is that you're like kind of like umming and ahhing about, there's a, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of like, do I let go of this? I feel like you're really struggling to let go of a certain situation, whether it be a person, whether it be an old emotion, a thought. You know, it's it's a reading for the collective, so take it as it resonates. The outside influence to that is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is about more rest, but it's you've got to hang the thoughts up. You've there's too many thoughts going on. There's too much going on in thoughts. Try journaling. Try putting them down. Um, I've got a friend who does it in uh, his notes on his phone. So he speaks his mind to the, to the notes. Maybe that's why I was getting that throat shock energy when I first started your reading. Maybe there's something that you really need to say to somebody and you're not saying it. Uh, maybe you're holding, you know, lack of truth down. Because in your hopes and fears, you've got the King of Cups in reverse. See, now, the King of Cups in reverse, to me, that would be, you could have been dealing with past this Cancer Scorpio, but I feel like emotionally you're scared of staying in the situation that you are now. I don't see it, because I see like a massive change coming with the Five of Swords. You're disarming whatever it is. It's like the, disarming the bomb of your own head. That's what I'm getting, because I've just done the Cancer reading, and that were all about that Cancer. Scorpio, this reading is all about you you know and your outcome is the five of cups having no regrets you know you've got two fives there big changes we are in the fifth month but for some reason there's two the eight eight comes into my mind the karmic there is the number of karma it's the infinity symbol but i do feel like it's something in the next eight days from this reading um you'll have no regrets you fit let go of the past there's something in the past or you're dealing with that now and then, boom, you've done it. So you might have already started doing this. You know, some of my Scorpios might be in counselling or, you know, you've gone into that healing energy of the past. Let's have a look and get some uh, clarification before I go into the extended. Yeah, it's because you're going through a renewal. We've got a spark. And that's why you've got that King of Wands energy, that fire energy. You've still got that spark. It's still there. It's not been watered down. You may feel like it has at the minute, and that's because you're releasing so much. And what did I just say? Because you're going through a release. You, you're releasing, you're surrendering, you're purging. It's really strong. So allow any of these emotions to come up and just sit with them. Be with them. Deal with them. But you don't have to stay there. You can choose not to stay there. You allow it to come to the surface. You sit with it and you think, Matt, why is this coming up now? What am I dealing with? Uh, you know, you're purging. You are seriously purging. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it doesn't feel nice when you're doing it. But look what you're getting as your outcome. Epiphany. A breakthrough. Scorpio, strong ass energy there strong ass energy so if this is where i leave you i'm going to leave you with lots of love and if i'm meeting you on the extended i am going over there now okay bye